Hey, hey, hey. Cal calm down, calm down. What? I Are you telling me that we've been wasting thousands and thousands of dollars for month on marketing to teenagers? How's this How's that even possible? So have you actually ever wondered what could go wrong when you blindly trust AI for your real estate lead generation? In this video, I'm going to show you three AI pitfalls in real estate lead generation that can cost you quite a bunch of money. Also, how much money it can cost you and the one thing you can do to avoid these money eating pitfalls. But first, let me tell you a story about Microsoft's AI chatbot called Ty. Because this AI chatbot messed up pretty bad back in 2016. And it's probably the chatbot with the shortest lifespan ever created. It was shut down 24 hours after launch. It was designed to use slang language like a teenager and ended up posting offensive content on Twitter. Ty was also influenced by interactions with Twitter users. And if you know what is happening in Twitter discussions, well, you will also know that this couldn't have been a good influence. So it said pretty positive things about a famous German dictator and things about the wall to Mexico and who pays for it, etc. So here you have already one example of what can go wrong. And as you can imagine, I can't quote this chatbot exactly because this video would get flagged pretty fast. But now let's get into the three money-eating AI pitfalls for real set lead generation and each one will be more severe than the last one. So what happens when AI's predictive models are not the nice crystal ball you expected and predict a future based on a wonky past? Say the AI's been trained on scoot or outdated sales data. It might as well be predicting that flying cars are the next big thing in suburban commuting. For real estate this means it could forecast hot market trends based on data from a market that's now as cold as last winter or that has never existed. So the first AI pitfall is misguided predictive analytics. The result? You end up pouring resources into a lead generation campaign targeting the wrong demographic. And a lead gen campaign like that is about as profitable as selling snow in Antarctica. Now what would this cost you? First we have opportunity costs or the costs of lost opportunity. So when an AI system inaccurately predicts market trends, you could miss out on marketing to more lucrative markets. The cost here is the difference between what you could have earned in a correctly predicted market and the actual earnings or well, no earnings at all. If you have a medium-sized real estate company, this could range from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of wasted marketing dollars. Now, what happens when personalized marketing gets a bit out of control and becomes a little too big brother? I mean, personalized marketing is generally much more effective. But imagine if your AI is so good at personalization that it starts to creep people out. It's like getting a friend request from someone you met once at a party five years ago. For example, a potential client visits a few listings and suddenly every ad, not some ads, they see online is for similar properties. Or even worse, imagine if AI makes incorrect assumptions. Think of a chatbot that keeps suggesting luxury mentions to someone that just clicked on a property, on such a property out of curiosity. But this website visitor is actually looking for a modest family home. It's like a waiter with pretty low emotional intelligence who recommends a steak to a vegetarian. Why? Well, because the vegetarian glanced at the steak on someone else's plate. So all of that is the second money-eating AI pitfall in real estate lead generation. Let's call it the AI-powered personalization paradox. And this gets even more costly than the first one. The cost of this pitfall can be lost sales because of creepiness. So creeped out and turned off prospects will reduce conversions and thus sales. Even a 5% drop in sales can mean substantial revenue loss. For instance, if your company sells 5 million worth in properties annually, a 5% loss is $250,000. As the cherry on top, you likely damage your brand. 
It's harder to quantify, but the risk of a long-term drop in client trust and market position is real. But there is a pitfall that can top even AI creepiness and the AI-powered personalization paradox. Let's get right into it. So, qualifying leads automatically sounds like a dream, right? But what if it's more like a dream where you show up to a showing without pants? That sounds more like a nightmare, I would say. Now imagine an AI that's supposed to filter out unqualified leads in your CRM but ends up being too strict. It's like having a bouncer at a club who only lets in shredded people with a body fat percentage of 7% wearing purple hats. You miss out on potentially great leads. Why? Well, the AI has decided that someone without a set of specific criteria isn't worth your time. Or the opposite. It's so forgiving that your AI powered CRM floods you with leads. And many of these leads are as likely to buy a house as a cat is to start swimming. So this one is the money eating pitfall number three. It's automated lead qualification gone wrong and the costs it can cause are even slightly higher than for the last one. Let's estimate them. Overly strict criteria might mean missing out on viable leads. Let's say 10% of viable leads are missed and the average value of a lead is $5,000 considering long-term value and commission. So if you miss out on even 20 leads a month, it would mean a $100,000 loss. On top of that, we have wasted time. If the criteria are too forgiving, agents might waste time on tire kickers and sellers with pipe dreams. Let's assume an hourly rate of $50 for you as an agent or for your agents if you are a broker. If they waste 10 hours a week on poor leads, that's a cost of $500 per week per agent. For a team of 10, this would be $5,000 and $260,000 per year. So are there ways you can avoid this? Well, there is only one thing you can do for all three pitfalls. And the answer is definitely not another AI tool. You know, there's a principle called garbage in, garbage out in IT and computer science. It means that what you receive as an output depends on what you put in. You can also apply this to nutrition. When you eat daily fast food and other chunk well, then you get a not so nice output like health issues and more. The same happens with AI. If you feed and train it with chunk and bad data, well, you get out chunk and bad data. So to avoid all three money eating pitfalls, Real estate professionals, human real estate professionals, will have to constantly validate the data AI is using. You would need to check and validate and update neighborhood trends and market conditions on a regular basis. So it's human oversight that will help avoid these AI pitfalls. And these humans should be real estate professionals so the AI can be trained with their expertise and experience. But all of what I've just told you doesn't make much sense if you don't know how AI is transforming real estate lead generation. So 